Hey guys and welcome to Where's the Scale. So this is part two of the H domain niche site case study series. In the first video, I was talking about how I picked my H domain and how you can pick your H to expire domains. And I'm giving you several options there from more expensive to almost free. And so just to remind you, this video is sponsored by ODYS, a marketplace for H domains. And I actually mentioned a couple of my favorites uh, in ODYS and they are still on sale. So if you want to grab them, I think they are very good age domains. So the, the first one talks about real spine surgery. The second one and the third one are about robotics and prosthetics. And the fourth one is about uh, disaster risk reduction and basically everything survival. So these are very solid age domains ranging from 10 to 25 years with high domain rating and a lot of backlinks. So check them out. So now I have no idea how, how long this video is going to take. This is probably one of the most boring, so to speak, videos that's going to be in the series in which I'm connecting my domain for the first time to my cPanel within GoDaddy account. Then I'm installing the theme, which is going to be popcorn theme for me. And I'm going through my personal checklist to make sure that most of the things on the website are taken care of. So if you like these kind of technical tutorials, give me a thumbs up and subscribe because it takes a lot of <laughs> work to produce these videos for me. Okay, let's get started. So first things first, let's go to my web hosting solutions. And here I have the Ultimate Linux hosting with cPanel. I'll click manage. So as you can see, I have uh, some domains already attached to this plan and I need to add a website. And my website is called triumphoverphobia.com. And then we'll just click add website. You have successfully added this domain. Beautiful. Now let's go back to the dashboards. Let's see where our domain is at. Here it is. And we'll click on install application. And what we are looking for is the WordPress, this one here. So we'll click on install this application. And here we have a few options. I don't need directory. This is going to be my username, website title. Let's just say the website title is get rid of your phobia fast and we can change that later. Website tagline. Now that's going to be our website tagline. The website title is Triumph Over Phobia. And we need, I have almost forgotten to choose the domain. Okay. And we'll use this HTTPS version, but uh, remember that we will need to connect it to the Cloudflare later. And looks like we are done. Now we need to go to the Triumph over Phobia WP admin, which is the admin panel. Okay, and let's go to the dashboards. Yes, I'm sure. No thanks. And now we'll be installing the theme and I like the popcorn theme, which looks like this. But I'll be using the older version. This is um, Popcorn version 2, but I'll be using Popcorn version 1 because I think it's much simpler and there are not a lot of customization options. And I don't want to overcomplicate stuff for this tutorial. So I'll be downloading this file here. So add new, upload a theme. And this is the one. So now if you go and visit the website, it's gonna look like this. Nice and clean. So to help me with the website setup, I have come up with a checklist of sorts. So this is gonna be quite boring. If, if you wanna skip ahead, go ahead. But this is what I need to do, install theme. So this is done. Now logo for the site. And thankfully the ODYS provided me with logos. This one here, so this is the site logo. And we'll start with that. So let's go to appearance, customize. And this is basically the site we're customizing. So site identity. And we need to select the logo first. So 
we will be uploading the logo. So now we need to the site icon, which is 512 by 512. So I'll be using Canva for that. We'll go to custom size, 512 by 512, create new design. Now we'll basically upload our logo. And this is it. We'll select transparent, download, let's go here. And we'll be pasting this over. Okay, so this is our site icon. Okay, this is done. Now, what else is on the list? Um, logo is done. Favicon. Privacy policy, but we need to, yeah, we need to change the colors straight away. So let's do the colors. And I actually like this color here, so let's check. I have no idea what that is. So we can go to a online color picker, for example. We can upload our logotype and we can pick a part of the image that we... And we can just choose the color that we need to know about. So this one is this one here. And let's see if we can customize our colors. So that would be under theme options, popcorn colors, footer, link color, primary color. So we can change the footer to this. Mm -hmm. And we'll be changing the primary color as well as the link color. And let's change the secondary color. Uh, what is the Tiffany color? Tiffany color hex. That's the one. Okay, that's the one that I want. Let's hit publish. Okay. Looking nice. Then what else is on the list? So we change the color. Okay, privacy policy. Okay, before I will be doing the pages, let me reorganize this and I will be probably sharing this checklist with my Patreon members. Okay, let's do with permalinks first. So for that to tap, we need to go to settings, permalinks, and the only permalink structure that you want would be the post name. So that's it. Let's save changes. This one is done also. Done. Okay, let's disable comments. I don't want any comments because this attracts spam in and with the quantity of posts that I am anticipating that can get out of hand quickly. So for that to happen, we need to go to discussion and we'll disable, allow people to submit comments on new posts. Okay, we'll hit save also. Okay, this is done. And then excerpts. So the excerpts are these things here and I don't want them because they can lead to duplicate content. And once again, we'll be heading back to the popcorn theme. And for this, we need to go to popcorn layout. I don't know why it's not under posts, but still exp excerpt length and this will disable excerpts. So publish. Now we'll be taking care of the hero image later on in the video. Okay. Uh, what I've also, what I also need to do is to set an author. So the author by default is going to be admin, but that's no good for the EEAT. So this is under users. I will be adding new. His role is going to be author. And this is going to be me, Vlad Ivanov. Okay, this is done also. So now let's take care. Uh, we'll be creating categories. Okay, let's create categories. And this is actually revealing part of the keyword um, research and silo structure of the silos, but we'll be starting out with these five categories. And I'll be heading back to posts, categories. And yeah, I'll be adding a bunch of new categories. So the first one is types of phobias, add new. And the second one is symptoms and diagnosis. Add new treatment and management. 
and celebrity and phobias so okay this is done also and now let's format our website a little bit so we need basically three additional pages uh, for us to to apply for either adsense or azoic which is privacy policy about us and contact us so we'll be creating these pages first and privacy policy already exists nice so we need the contact us page and we can delete the sample page we don't need that so for the privacy policy we can go to one of those privacy policy generators and you can use any one of these but i just use this one most often so your company name is going to be the company name the website which is going to be the same and the url We'll start with the HTTPS. Now what is left to do is to hit next. Do you use cookies? Yes. Do you show advertising through Google? Yes, but not right now. Do you show advertising from third parties? Yes. It's just better to click yes to everything so you don't have to redo it. Country, I'll say US. State, let's just use Alabama. And for the email address, uh, I can change it later. So just use words of scale. Generate my privacy policy. Then can go to the HTML version, head back to the website, and basically then just paste it. For the contact us, once again, you can use different forms. I'll just say something to contact us, shoot an email, send us an email at words at scale gmail.com and I'll be using spaces so it's not as easily crawled and this this is basically to avoid spam and for the about us you want to spend some more time on this but I'll just use a placeholder we are a group of enthusiasts who made it their mission to help other people deal with phobias all over the globe and basically yeah i will be expanding on this but you get the gist so let's get back to our checklists policy privacy policy done about us done contact us done now for the plugins i'll be installing rank math and easy table uh, for now maybe more plugins but not not right now as i said so to install the plugins we'll go to plugins add new so we'll be adding rank math and between rank math and yoast i just think it's a personal preference I've always used rank math and I'm not saying it's better. It's just my personal preference. Skip. We won't be connecting our accounts. We'll be choosing easy, start wizard. Okay, we don't need that. So save and continue. Save and continue. Return to dashboard. Beautiful. And the next one is going to be table of contents. You can use a paid plugin. I will use a free version, which is easy table, easy table. And yeah, it's this one here. And before doing anything else, I need to set this plugin in a certain way. So we'll go to settings and we'll be using table of plugins only for posts. We'll be using on insert. So I have to manually insert the table of contents. It's going to be before the first heading and we'll be showing it when the number of headings is more than five. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And let's pick initially hide the table of contents. That's better for readability. And for the color, we can pick it later, I think. And yeah, we don't need any H4s and h5s okay save changes okay this is done and for better readability i actually like placing the categories the blog post categories at the top and uh, these ones in the footer so let's go to menus create new menu which is going to be menu location is going to be main menu next 
And let's add some items. We'll be adding categories. One, two, three, four, five. Let's hit publish. So these are our categories. This is our logo. Everything else is here. Actually, since we have about us, contact us and privacy policy in the footer, I'll just remove the about us and follow us from here. And I will leave the affiliate disclaimer only. This is a better look. Okay, now we need to go to the popcorn footer settings and we will delete the social links and the about menu location. Okay, this is it. So this is the final look. We have our logo here, we have our categories here, we have our featured posts here, affiliate disclaimer here, and the pages for the AdSense and Ezoic alike, which is about us, contact us in privacy policy. So that was formatting. And this is done also. Two final things left. We need to add an SSL and we need to connect uh, this website to the Google Analytics. So the easiest way to connect it to Google Analytics would be to use a plugin, which is called Google Site. Install now. This will be installing both the Google Search Console and the Google Analytics. Start setup. And you just need to basically follow the steps and that's it. So we'll choose connect Google Analytics, help us improve. Now I'll be signing in with the credentials that I use for tracking analytics. Okay, let's click on verify. And oftentimes it just, uh, everything is automatic and you don't have to actively do anything, but that will depend on your hosting. So for now, I'm just accepting everything. This is Google Storage Console, Analytics, and now we need to set up new account. We'll be signing in again. We'll be accepting this here. I accept, go to my dashboard, and the property has been added to Google Analytics. Let's just check it manually. Okay, so this is the property. And today is May 10th, and zero traffic, as you can see. Let's check the Search Console, and no data, obviously, but that's gonna change. So we did that also, and the final, final step that's gonna take us a little bit is to add SSL. So for that, we'll just go to Cloudflare, which is what I'm using, and this is free. When we visit the website, which now looks like this, very compact, the browser says this is not secure. This is because we don't have the SSL connected to it, but uh, thankfully it's very easy to connect the website. So we'll just add a website write in the name. So what you want to do, you want to use uh, choose the free version. Let's hit continue. Then we'll need to add the custom name service, which are given here. And for that, we'll go to GoDaddy. Click on edit DNS. And we'll go into name servers, change, and add my own name servers. And we'll just basically be copying and pasting these ones here. So these are the name servers of GoDaddy and we need to change them to these ones. One, two, let's click save. And this is gonna take a while, up to 24 hours, but, or 84 hours rather, but after that we'll be able to access our website with an SSL certificate. This is it, let's just tick the final box, which was the SSL. So now the website is ready. So once again, what we did, we installed the theme, we installed the logo and favicon, we set the color scheme, we disabled comments, we created categories, removed excerpts, set permalinks and author, we created privacy policy about us, contact us pages, we did some minor formatting, we installed a few plugins, namely EasyTable and Rank Math, and we'll be installing more plugins as we go. 
We have installed also Google Site to help us connect to Google Analytics. And we have installed the SSO. Our third video is going to be about keyword research. And after that, we'll start publishing content. That's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.